This is going to be fun. Pumpkin carving has become a form of Halloween art, and if you want to achieve some spooky, creative ideas, our next guest definitely has your cover. No, we, you and I were just talking. You love the decorations love this stuff. in the front yeah. yard. This will be right I mean, up your alley. Look at that. Alley. Who wouldn't love? Look at this hey, stuff. These are ornate. Steve Dalkey has been a professional pumpkin carver for more than 35 years and has carved out some of the most unique designs in pumpkins, weighing up to 2,000 pounds, y'all. Nick Smith is outside our News Nation studios with him this morning. Uh, Nick, do you have your carving tools ready to go? <laughs> I have my carving tools, Marky and Brian. I'm going to dive into that in a little bit, but I want to introduce you to Steve because you were just talking about it. More than 35 years you've been doing this. You decided to join us this morning because you do want to talk to people about pumpkin art. Correct. Well, Steve, talk to me about some of the stuff that we see here right now, because you've done everything from normal pumpkins that are simple jack-o'-lanterns to celebrities. Who do we have here? So we have uh, Elvis, Elvis Presley. Uh, this is uh, the fake pumpkin on a uh, Stonykin uh, uh, pattern. Okay. They you go to stonykins.com. Okay. They got your patterns, tons of pa different patterns that they have. Different patterns to work from. Yep. And then I cannot help but notice that we also have a couple that I recognize quite well, both the News Nation and Morning in America. Steve, you've been doing this, and I know that it's a passion of yours. How did you get into it? What made you say, you know what, I think I have a talent for this? Uh, I learned it from a book. Okay. So I started when I was about 18 years old, ordered the book, looked at the book, wouldn't read it, and then I uh, used a chisel and a uh, scraper. And then uh, I entered the contest, took first place. A company from Wisconsin hired me to carve. And then from there, I wrote to other companies like Six Flags, Brookfield Zoo, Lincoln Park, and went from there. I know for a fact that people can see some of the work that you've done at stevespumpkinart.com. That's your website. So I know that a lot of your great workers there, you and I are going to dive into this and actually start to carve into some things. But what are some things that people at home need to know when they're looking for a pumpkin to work with maybe their little ones uh, to put something out for the season? So I prefer using a smooth face, uh, flat surface pumpkin instead okay. of the ribbed. The ribbed ones could be real thin in the middle. All right. Um, you gotta make sure it's a certain height. Certain height? Yeah. About how, about this how, About tall? this size or a little bit bigger. Okay, so the right size, make sure it's a smooth surface. And anything with weight? Uh, well, it depends on the weight. If you're able to lift five, five to 50 pounds, be fine. But there's other stuff that you use to work with. Well, well, Steve, you Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.